Okay, so in this video, I'm planning on showing this, uh, it's a proof of concept for a future project that I am attempting to work on. And so it's just going to be a quick little demonstration of just what works so far and what doesn't. So just starting off here with this little SD card. So, it's blurry to the camera. But this little SD card holds a bunch of code and data that's basically the heart of this project. And it's on an SD card because it's easy to transfer around between multiple computers and also just kind of looks cool. Obviously, that's all that matters. Uh, <laughs> anyways. USB drive discovered. Processing data. So then I can then so then here is everything that needs to be done to make this work. But of course I already was ready for this. I know exactly what to do. Shouldn't take that one. Yeah, so this is a bunch of Arduino code, which I'm now uploading to the Arduino. And it's a really simple circuit with just one temperature sensor. So nothing major there. And yes, I am using a, a bit of processing, which, you know, might, might not be the best choice. But uh, I guess I will talk a bit about that later. So, the Arduino is properly uploaded. Processing, I'm running it. Okay. Now, get rid of all those. We just need. Okay, so now I'm going to proceed to just demonstrate what this is because it looks kind of random, I guess. Hello. Hello. How's life? It's fine. What are you? I am Yeni version 0 0.31. Yeni stands for Youthful Energetic Natural Intelligence. Yes. What's the temperature? It is 19 degrees Celsius. How warm is it? It is 21 degrees Celsius. Stop listening. So you can see there, it has a few basic commands, and it also read the temperature from the sensor, went to Arduino, went to the computer, through numerous, many numerous steps. It's actually also saved on the computer in a, in a text file, so you can also access it manually, which is nice. But then also I can just ask for the temperature, and it can read me the temperature. Which, uh, I thought, cool. uh, not overly complicated or anything, but definitely. Cool. Um, so just to make sure I'm not lying, the temperature actually changes, I'm going to heat it up a bit. Start listening. Right, so, I'll touch the temperature sensor. Right. What's the temperature? It is 24 degrees Celsius. Heat it up, right? How warm is it? It is 50 degrees Celsius. <laughs> okay, so it said 50, which is obviously wrong. So there are a few uh, fixes that need to be made. But as you noticed, it works, let's say, majority of the time until I manage to fix the rest of the mistakes with it. Temperature. It is 26 degrees Celsius. So yeah, you can see it's getting warmer, right? Because I'm touching it. How cold is it? It is 10 degrees Celsius. So, okay, so there's another minor glitch there again. But that shows that. So it can measure temperature and you can ask for it and it'll give it to you. Which I always thought, which I think is really interesting. But of course, it's right now using Windows speech recognition, which I don't like. It's using processing, which I also don't like. And 
stop listening. And, well, mainly those two. Though I guess wiring for Arduino is also annoying. So, this is just a quick one, quick little basic concept. Though I'm planning on eventually going further on the Arduino using uh, probably C. Most likely there's a really nice series of libraries for Java that I can use to replace Windows speech recognition. So I'll most likely work with that. Also, I'm using some text-to-speech software. I'm using Ivona text-to-speech. It's really good. It's just definitely really good. Probably the best. It is the best text-to-speech that I've ever heard of. I actually ever heard. So it is really good. That's what gives you that, that nice voice that came out. So, that basically concludes this demonstration. I'm working on a bigger project for this. But, for now, this is just the kind of basic foundation. Of course, when I do the bigger project, I'll definitely show that as well. So, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.